In this video, we'll cover six secrets to cinematic architectural animation. We will cover the key qualities of a cinematic format and how it helps with keeping your audience engaged throughout the film. And more importantly, why it's crucial to learn these techniques. Now before we start, let me give you a context of the software tools and workflow that I often use in creating my personal projects. I use SketchUp for 3D modeling, D5 Render for rendering stills and animations, Lightroom for minor tweaks, and After Effects for stitching. It is also good to note that all these are done using an old RTX 3070 GPU laptop and not a powerful desktop computer. There are three common qualities of a cinematic animation. These are immersiveness, the little details that evoke a story, and the emotion or mood. Learning how to create a compelling narrative using storyboards is critical. At this planning stage, you need to have a rough idea of the shot composition, pacing, and transitions. Lighting can make or break the mood of your story. When creating a cinematic look, our goal is to mimic the ones we see in the movies. We need to explore different lighting techniques like the golden hour, dramatic shadows, and accent lighting to add depth or drama. To save a lot of time, I always start with the presets directly from within D5 Render, which were carefully shortlisted by talented artists. All I need to do is apply it into my scene, view it in real time, and start making minor tweaks as I go. Now to create a convincing animation, we need to give it a sense of scale. Let's start populating our scene with 3D trees, furniture, and dynamic characters. D5 Render has loads of options to choose from. Go ahead and pick what's best for your story. To achieve a cinematic look, there are classic rules that will guide us with our composition. The golden ratio, leading lines, symmetry, frame within a frame, and many others. In this clip, we are drawing our viewer's attention towards the center with the help of these leading lines. To create visual interest, we need to use dynamic camera movements. It is uncommon to have shaky camera movements for architectural animations, unless that's what your story is going for. A good starting point is making use of subtle panning camera movements. For the upcoming update, there will be several useful camera features, one of which is the camera animation templates, which allows you to assign a specific camera movement, such as panning, to quickly set up your camera to move in that manner. Another feature is camera path and editing, as well as importing camera animation from 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, and many others. Now here's the fun part. To minimize crashes on my laptop, my workflow is to always render by image sequence. Once I have all the images rendered, I will then import them into Lightroom and make some minor adjustments and some color grading. After that, I then stitch them all into one animation clip using After Effects. If you want to learn more about this type of workflow, I have created a separate tutorial video showing each step of the process. Look for the link in the description section. In some cases, choosing the right music becomes the first task. This not only sets the mood, but also dictates the pace of your animation. With the right ambient sounds and other audio effects, you will further enhance the immersivity of your cinematic architectural animation. There's something to get excited about in the upcoming weeks. The next update is just around the corner, D5 Render 2.6. We have only covered a few of the key qualities in creating cinematic architectural animations, but if you want a more in-depth tutorial about this topic, let me know in the comments down below. Mastering these techniques will definitely improve your skill to the next level. If you want to learn more about architectural visualizations, watch this next video right here.